Our scripture readings this evening invite us into a reflection upon what's really important within our life. And well, how do we go about making good decisions and choices in our life? We are given the example of King Solomon. Of course, Solomon was the, king, was the son of King David. And Solomon inher inherited the Israel at a time in which it was united, a time in which there was great prosperity. And so when he receives the kingdom, and God reveals to him and says, ask for whatever you want and I'll give it to you. And Solomon asked not for peace, not for more riches, not for a long life, not for any material things, but rather he asked for a discerning heart, for better understanding, to appreciate and to make wise decisions. And because of that, God greatly blessed him. That example of Solomon and his wisdom is depicted in the window, the fifth window from the front. Over here on the side is Solomon there. And this particular one is a very uh, kind of concrete. I'm sure most of us have heard the story before. But two women had babies that looked very much alike. At one night, one woman rolled over on her baby and smothered the child. And the next day when they got up, she claimed that the other baby was her baby. And so they were going back and forth vying about whose baby was this, whose baby had died, and whose baby was still alive. And so they go to Solomon in order to get this figured out. And Solomon says to them, you know, both of you are claiming that this is your baby. And maybe what we need to do is for me to take your baby, the baby that's alive, and just split it in half. And I'll give each one of you half. Now, the one mother, the one who had actually lost her baby, said, that's fair. <laughs> and the other one was totally horrified. And Solomon then knew who the true mother was, the one who would never allow her child to be harmed in any way even to the point of being willing to give up that child. And so Solomon then awards the, the, the child to the true mother. But anyway, that's just one of those examples from Scripture about King Solomon and his wisdom. And all of us need discerning hearts within our lives. We all need that gift of wisdom. Wisdom is not more human understanding. Wisdom is not more knowledge. Wisdom is being able to see all of reality through the eyes of God. To be able to look at the reality and see not just the surface, but to be able to see the deeper implications, the deeper meaning, the deeper purpose. It's be able to look at life not just with our superficial vision, but through the eyes of faith, to be able to somehow put on that attitude of God himself as we go about our daily lives. All of us who have been confirmed have received that gift of wisdom from the Holy Spirit. It's one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, that gift of a discerning wise heart to make good choices and decisions about what's really important within life, what's superficial, what's incidental, and how should we really be living our life day in and day out. That's the gift of wisdom. I'm wondering if the Lord came to me and said, Tom, what do you want to pray for? What do you want to ask for? Would I have that wisdom of Solomon to be able to say, Lord, give me a discerning heart. <coughs> Lord, let me to see things as you see things. Help me to understand all of reality, not in terms of the temporal, but in terms of the eternal. That is to have the wisdom of God. All of us pray for various things. I hope in the midst of those prayers, 
that I have the humility to pray for wisdom, that God's vision may become my own vision, that I may truly know through the eyes of faith. All of us are called to that gift, that wonderful gift of God's grace.